Can you tell us a little bit about what is the Sovereign Cloud? So a Sovereign Cloud is that all the components within the cloud are actually within the native soil of that country. So let's think about Canada, for example. At F12, we have Sovereign Cloud. It only exists within Canada. That means the people that we have using it and, uh, and supporting it are all Canadians. The uh, internet service providers are only Canadian providers. We, uh, we only use the, the data and the equipment and the backup all within Canada. And what that means is that you can rest knowing that only the Canadian laws apply to what you're operating within. So you're not gonna be uh, subpoenaed by another state nation because it all exists within Canada. Calvin, how does Sovereign Cloud differ from other cloud computing services? When you think about uh, clouds in general, um, you wanna know where your data is residing. And so when you have a Sovereign Cloud, it stays within sovereign soil of that nation state. When you think about uh, the proliferation of public cloud, sometimes you don't know where your data sits. And so if it goes and it's now uh, in a different country, the laws of that country applies to that data. And so that becomes um, something that you need to be aware of because uh, those laws could be imposed upon you as opposed to you making a specific decision to locate your data where you want it to exist and have the laws of that country apply to it. So why should I care about data sovereignty? Well, I think it's important to know from a business perspective, um, you may make a decision that you would uh, say, I want to have my data in a different service. Mm -hmm. But you need to understand that then the laws of that country would apply to you. And some organizations make a, uh, a judgment or a decision, an intentional decision, not to host their data in other state nations because they don't want the laws to apply. Can anyone say they have a sovereign cloud as a business? What kind of questions should they be asking to ensure that they are legitimately getting sovereign cloud services? Yeah, so uh, you know, there's not a certification that exists uh, out there. There's uh, we're trying to get in the industry um, raise the awareness of what that may look like, and so understanding where your data sits is very important. But when you partner with a cloud provider, you want to ensure that what is a sovereign cloud? Sovereign cloud is really about the people, um, the location of that data, and the uh, internet connections on where they are situated. So just, just maybe use an example. You might have a data center that's uh, in Toronto or maybe in Alberta. And you would say, okay, well, I, that's where my data is situated. And I only have Canadian uh, citizens working on that private cloud. And then we would say, well, where do you back up your data? Does that data go all the way across Canada to the secondary site? Does it traverse into the US? At F12, what we do is we actually make sure we work with our service providers and make sure that there's no routes that actually go into U.S. soil. So we can ensure that the data end to end is only in Canada. I think this is really important when you start partnering with a sovereign cloud provider is that all the components within that data supply chain are situated within that state nation.